this is the first time I've been out in a while. I don't venture forth often, as you can probably tell, because I call it venturing forth. <laughs> um, so when I do go out, I feel the need to save time, and because I'm a big fucking nerd, I thought it would be great if, um, do we have any people who watch Game of Thrones out there? Do we have any Game of Thrones fans? This side of the room exclusively, great. <laughs> So, you know how um, Khaleesi, the Khaleesi, she has like a paragraph of titles, you know? Khaleesi, Daenerys Stormborn, first of her name, Queen of the Andals, blah, 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 whole bunch of stuff. So I thought it would be great if we still had a paragraph of titles, so we could just get to know someone right away, and then if we don't like it, we can move on, you know? So I'd walk up to someone and be like, hello, my name is Fallon, uh, wearer of clothes my mother hath doth interesting. Um, <laughs> Watcher of Doctor Who, um, uh, and uh, you know, Our Lady of Perpetual Low Standards. <laughs> and um, you know, then the guy would be like, hello, my name is Chad, son of Dirk, uh, wearer of three popped collars, watcher of two and a half men, and uh, knight of the round nickelback table. <laughs> So now when I introduce myself to people, I'm like, hi, my name is Fallon, wearer of clothes, blah, 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 and fucker of Chad. <laughs> so I owe HBO a lot. <laughs> Actually, I hold HBO pretty much directly responsible for me losing my virginity, because... <laughs> I was watching a lot of True Blood, that's when I lost my virginity, because I just, I felt like I was ready. <laughs> you know, like, Alexander Skarsgård ushered me into womanhood. So, that and a guy named Jimmy, who pretended to have a brain tumor. <laughs> so, my first time was a pity buck, but not on my behalf. <laughs> So, ushered into womanhood. That was a uh, process that actually started a few years before that, when I stumbled across a certain issue of Cosmo. Um, it was the issue where you could write in with your questions, and so I was like, oh great, maybe they'll have the same questions I do. They didn't. <laughs> not, not at all. So, the first question right out of the gate that they have is, uh, Dear Cosmo, how do I masturbate? Oh, it seems self-explanatory. <laughs> Let's see how they feel it. <laughs> they didn't disappoint. Uh, they said, Dear Mystery Masturbator, fill a condom with water, stick it in the freezer, and use that. Ice dick. It's an interesting proposition. Like, I see a number of problems arising pretty much immediately. Like, uh, the first one is kind of like a Christmas story scenario. Yeah, some of you are with me. <laughs> but, um, and then another thing is like, what are you supposed to do with it when you're done? Do you stick it back in the freezer? Does it keep? Like, I mean, what if this woman had kids, you know? Like, uh, her son comes out and he's like, hey, mommy, could I have this popsicle? And she's like, no, Sterling! <laughs> And then later, he's like, hey, mommy, why did that popsicle taste like fish sticks in a balloon? <laughs> How do you answer that? <laughs> oh, God. So, there I was. I stick firmly in hand. Not too firmly because of melting issues. But anyway, so I was exploring, you know, some porn. Like, trying to find something that I liked. Figure out, you know, what I'm about. <laughs> And so I tried, like, you know, I tried straight, I tried gay, s and M. none of it was doing anything for me until I stumbled across erotic fan fiction. <laughs> for those of you who are unfamiliar, this is like uh, when you read about uh, Troy Bolton from High School Musical getting pile-dried by Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> okay, settle down. It's the sexy Hannibal from the TV show, not Anthony Hopkins. I'm not a pervert. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, but when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back, you know? Like, I mean, when you read about the Avengers gangbanging Tony Stark and feel nothing, maybe it's time to reevaluate your life choices. Or just dive off that motherfucking cliff. 
which is what I did. <laughs> and everyone knows that when you want things to be fucked up, you turn to Germany. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I decided that I was gonna find some German fan fiction because my research led me to believe that it would be the most intense, it would make me feel alive again. <laughs> the problem is, I don't speak German. And Google Translate can only take you so far. <laughs> so, I pirated Rosetta Stone to better understand my independent German superhero porn. <laughs> So now, when people ask me, like, uh, hey, like, you, you know German? Wow, that's crazy. What inspired you to do that? Uh, I just really love the culture. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs>